my beautiful buddies and welcome back to another speed build today. Today I am doing this one in collaboration with a good friend of mine named Yorkie the Lad. He is doing a suburban house um, and he posted his yesterday so if you guys haven't gone and checked it out yet please go ahead and do so. Um, but yeah I, I'm doing a penthouse as you can see. I've been having a bit of a, a modern build bug I guess I feel like because I've done so many traditional ones um when i was creating um houses for strange town as you guys know but i just wanted to go ahead and just talk to you guys a little bit about him and his channel before i begin um because he is so incredibly sweet he's he's been such a good friend uh, so easy to talk to if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet you really really should how he doesn't have 50 100k yet is beyond me and one thing i always really admire about him is that he's always very transparent with his viewers and he's always advocating things like having good mental health and things like that and I just think and think even though that he can be really really shy he is such a lovely he's such a lovely simmer and I'm so so happy that others have really caught on to that and his channel has just been flourishing and growing um and it I I, I, he, I really feel like it's really it's really not rare, I guess, to find, like, a good friend nowadays in, like, the simming community because there's so many wonderful people. But I feel like there's, I feel like there's a lot of people that, like, I talk to that easily can fit into the acquaintance kind of friend kind of zone. And I definitely feel like me and Yorkie are definitely good friends. And he's, and he's just, and he's always been there and things like that because, um, while I've done YouTube and things like that, I feel like my growth has been more um definitely like more slow but steady you know what i mean and he had a blow up one time and he always is encouraging me to be like you know don't like like don't don't let that worry you you're it's gonna happen someday and things like that and because i because i'm also too um a university student too that like takes up kind of a lot of time i feel like sometimes i wish i could definitely like post like more times a week than I currently do um during like the school year and things like that but um unfortunately can't because school comes first but I always put in my all in for it and he's always like like don't give up you, you always do that and he's always been such a happy 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 person about that and I really do feel like surrounding yourself with friends and people like that that, that encourage you and, and that tell you you know you're tell you that you're gonna do it you're gonna make it and they they like really put an influence i guess on you on like why you remembered why you started things in the first place and i and, it, and i don't have like doubts about my channel and things like that like i never have like times where i'm like oh i'm gonna delete my channel and I'm, I'm gonna peace out like i'm the i'm not really that kind of person because i've always said to myself i started a channel because i like because i like to do um like content creating or create or creating content or whatever um but yeah just like i feel like it's natural to always like feel about that big simmer small simmers we all go through that sometimes and yeah i just it's, it's wonderful having i guess a friend to talk to about it and he's never had an ugly build like never ever had one build i feel like that is ugly every single one of them is gorgeous i don't know how he does it but every single one and I, and I really do feel like it's a shame sometimes that people don't um, really do spend time on like smaller on like smaller channels and things like that because like he he was and I guess like prior to his like blow up I guess you could say he didn't he did have like really really good builds and he did have really really good content it's just that I feel like that YouTube just always kind of like promotes things that are often watched and often people know and, and I guess like trust that that people sometimes get overlooked and I think it's a great example of how you can how you should never give up you know and keep on going and I just I, I just I really really admire him admire him about that and he also mentioned too in his videos about how he sometimes can be shy um and how that how he feels like sometimes it might hold him back but I just want to say Yorkie that if you're listening you don't ever have to feel shy about reaching out to people in the community um yeah if, if someone doesn't like you just just move on I guess 
<laughs> just move on and do your own thing um because i definitely feel like there's always going to be people out there whether they watch you or not that aren't gonna like you but yeah i don't feel like you should ever let that stop you from like reaching out because you might find a really really good friend someday you know we became friends and you reached out to me and i reached out to you and it ended up well so <laughs> don't ever feel don't ever feel that way um and yeah going i guess talking more about my about this build um oh yeah but before i move on and say and say one thing too is that i always admire too how transparent he was about like um about like things that he was like really passionate about like like mental health he was talking about and he also mentioned too about how he loves it and how about how he loves the environment and things like that which i found really really sweet because he did a um i believe he did like a charity video to like um clean up the oceans for his ad for his like ad revenue like half of it and i really thought that was really sweet because that's definitely something that one day if i ever do make it that i would love to do like a charity stream on like twitch or or something like that one day like that's i know this kind of like may sound i don't know like it may it may sound be like oh would you really but i really really would at the bottom of my heart <laughs> and i really do feel like youtubers and people who use their power for good are are definitely people that you definitely should something should keep supporting because it obviously shows that they care they, that 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 they are genuine people and they do really really care about their viewers too um and yeah i guess like now actually going back to the build um i just want to go ahead and say that i know i know that there's no logic in um this penthouse having two cars <laughs> on the roof and how there's like a random plane that's gonna like be flying by on the thumbnail i know that makes no absolutely new sense but i really really had too much fun in the new debug mode because um the sims actually rebranded um and if you guys haven't checked out um like their new video and things like that yeah i'm sure they probably posted it to the original um like the official sims account so you could go check that out but yeah they had a recent update and where they rebranded they added some new sims in there and they have a new kaz story mode which is really cool i actually want to do a video on that a little bit later um and they also um added like all these like debug mode items now and we have vehicles now and all this like really cool stuff so i couldn't help myself and i was like you know what i'm going to put two really cool looking cars on the roof and i'm gonna have this airplane flying in the air just because i can it makes no sense but just because i can and i thought of the story too for when i was starting to build this i was like how can i make sense of this to so like my viewers that are watching this or are gonna be like what the heck why why are there two cars on the roof and my reasoning um for this how how they could get their cars to the ground level is that maybe that there's some machine because i did find another item in debug mode <laughs> that could maybe like hook on to the car and that like mechanically lifts the car down off the side of the building to the ground level i don't know just go with it the, the sims could be whatever you want to and that's and that's how i see it and as for the airplane i just thought it looked cool so i was like i'm, I'm just gonna add the airplane in the air so why not so and if you play it you can obviously delete it right away if you want to it's an easy fix but i just thought it looked cool for the thumbnail um <laughs> but yeah going um i guess like what i see i get the people that i see living here um i actually um now that strange town is coming to a close um because if you if you were happen to be new um i have this save file that i do called um my throwback save file and um I've been like progressively working on it like for a while now. I started out with Pleasant View and now I am like putting like the very final touches on it on my own time <laughs> to the save file and I really really want to release it soon like within like the next like I want to say within like the next two or three weeks um, just because I'm planning on going on a vacation soon. So we'll see if I get that video out before I go on vacation. If not then like early August for sure um, and it's just this really cool project i've been working on but um i was like thinking like you know now that that's over um what world do i want to go into next because obviously the most logical one would be uh, 
Ronneville since I've been on to like all like the Sims 2 worlds. Like I've done Pleasant View. I'm now done or practically done with Strange Town, I guess you could say. Um, so, but I was like, you know what? I want to take a little bit of a break from the Sims 2 worlds before I go on to Veronaville um, and actually do a spin-off game one. So I was like thinking like maybe I could include um, the herbs in the in um, San Machino and like, like for SimCity and I was like that would be so cool because I haven't seen that done yet and I know that there's other people too that like do replicate Sims 2 characters and Sims 2 homes like all the time but I haven't really done anything anything expire inspired by that game and like the spin-off game because it has such cool characters they were also really really funky and I will go ahead and talk about them more when I do like more of an official video but basically that, that game is a if you never played it was um there was like a corrupt businessman um and he kind of like sent sent your characters um boss on a vacation where he got stranded and he just takes all off and he just like takes um up the entire company and he kind of just like plans on making the entire town like a monopoly and he just wants to do all these evil things and charge people for ridiculous things and your goal through it is to kind of work through all these goals and things like that to bring to like help bring back um your your boss and kind of just like set things right i guess um and just kind of like discover the mystery of it and it's just really really cool because there's so many different groups because you can take a quiz and you can um get sorted in one of the reputation groups and there's a lot of different ones too there's the richies there's the, the nerdies there's the artsies um there's the streeties and it can be like very stereotypical i guess you could say um kind of like high school clicks but i still think it's like a fun i still think it's fun game and like i really want to create all the characters because they're all like really wacky and very very like personified i guess you could say and it just it, it would be really really fun and as i was creating this i was like i could definitely see the corrupt businessman and his like spoiled brat son um to live here and his name is daddy big box and before you start laughing <laughs> i definitely think that name is absolutely freaking ridiculous but I think it just kind of goes to show with how much of a humor that they had and that they had like back in the day <laughs> um and yeah his like son is like luther big box but i personally think they missed out they should have definitely called him like biggie big box or something like that like as a call to like richie rich or something um but yeah that's the kind of vibe i got from like when i was creating this place because i always kind of oftentimes i build think about who would live here and i definitely think they would live here and a an interior designer maybe like like design this place or like maybe their mother like maybe the mother slash the wife designed this place before she died because i never really mentioned her in that game so maybe she had like a really tragic death hmm the possibilities <laughs> okay well anyway moving on from my like crazy storylines and me telling you i guess like recapping about like my plans about like the next update <laughs> beyond strange town which i'm gonna do to the save file um but yeah i wanna i have some news for you guys so i have um got a brand new mic so over um on uh, i'm on amazon prime day because i think amazon yeah amazon prime day like passed like a few days ago now or whatever and i was able to pick up a new mic um and i got the new uh, well it's not new i guess but it's new to me <laughs> yeti the blue yeti um and i just was really really excited like to try it out and things like that but i unfortunately really haven't gotten really much time yet to like really figure out the settings when i first got it i i plugged it in and obs showed that like it was working and it was great but when i went back to the playback i couldn't hear anything Thing. and i don't know if that's of my like stupidity or, or like my like ignorance of me actually how then knowing how to like use a mic yet um but yeah i'm hoping that this is the last video or hopefully one of the last videos you'll hear with my old mic um because once i figure it out um then like you you'll hearing and definitely a great improvement on my audio <laughs> and it's so unfortunate that like that i couldn't get it to work but i um but yeah i i i 
been spending a lot of time like this past couple of days at my sister's house because like i got the mic and i tried it out for like i want to say like i dabbled with it probably for like five to ten minutes before she called me and she's like hey why don't you ever come to my house like why don't why don't we hang out you know why don't you sleep in my house so she's been asking me to stay over by her house and like i've been staying there for like the past couple of days and it's and it's and it's been nice but she's like her like biggest criticism about her house is that she thinks it's too quiet and i'm always like what you're nuts this, this house is so great <laughs> because uh, i really like the quiet and i think it kind of has to do with me spending a lot of time um like on my own because obviously like i live alone at school and i just find quiet great because when i move back in home in the summertime with my parents i always have to like do voiceovers at like random times like weird times and uh, like i always often like go in a room so i'm like no one hears me and it just doesn't feel awkward and then here she has like this like nice big house and like i don't have to do that <laughs> but i can get how she feels sometimes it can be kind of it can be really quiet i guess if you're not used to it and my sister is definitely a bit more well she's a lot more of an extroverted person than i am um so like i get how she like feels i definitely get how she feels and it's, it's just been like fun hanging out with her at her house and things like that and she has a like a really nice house so i'm so i'm like all for like staying with her <laughs> um but yeah it just it's been that like that was one of the reasons too why did, i haven't gotten a chance to like really figure out my mic yet um because i haven't been home to do it and obviously i'm not gonna lug my big microphone to her house <laughs> like lugging my laptop is one thing but i guess just like lug lugging that big mic because like the blue yeti is quite heavy i didn't expect it to be so heavy um and i just i i am going to sit down and i'm going to figure it out because because one of my goals was is that i really wanted to get this out um by the thursday or like the friday um because of the collab that me and yorkie did um and i wanted to get done and i knew i couldn't like possibly figure out like what was like what not what was wrong with mike oh gosh i hope nothing is wrong with mike um, but i couldn't figure out what was gonna be you know like what 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 was going on <laughs> if i if, if i'm here you know so yeah and yeah so hopefully fingers crossed that the mic works and i'm just dumb <laughs> but yeah going going back to going back to this like build again um as you can see like the bedroom on the ground level is definitely um what i would consider luther's room and it doesn't okay if you of course if you're not gonna play play this with um like the herbs in mind like you definitely don't have to that's just like how i see the house um a boy or a girl could live here easily like that that room is very very definitely gender neutral um we don't discriminate on this channel <laughs> and uh, yeah i just i just thought this was like such a cool room like it was definitely like a dream like it was like it was like a dream i think like teenagers bedroom that's like a youtuber because it is just so big and so large like that room has a freaking like tv area in in their bedroom like what who has that that is so spoiled <laughs> and i do really think too that there is kind of like a sense of sadness in this house though too when i did create that storyline about like maybe the mom being dead and gone like that is so sad but like i just i i don't know why but i feel like there just has to be drama in my sims storylines <laughs> every single house i ever had always has to have some sort of drama i just feel like that's the way i play <laughs> and as often too like a lot of my tv shows like all of my tv shows always have like a ton of drama and that's i feel like that's something too that me and yorkie share because he then because he's definitely likes the more dramatic tv shows like i do um and like we we tried doing collabs in the past too like we've been like working on this collab for a long time and we started out with why don't we do like a kardashian inspired collab or whatever like that like and build something from them but then we both are like we don't watch keeping up with the kardashians we don't care about keeping up with the kardashians why why do it just because some other people might and then we decided like hey let's do like a youtubers like house collab and then like i think it was during the time that like so many youtubers were like getting into feuds and it was just like a bad time we're just like 
nope we 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 we, we're not getting in the middle of this we're not we're not gonna talk about youtubers um that might or might not be problematic and we're like you know what we should just do something that we both like we should just do something that we both have inspiration for so we decided just to go ahead and do this and it was and it was really nice (laughs) because i definitely feel like this is better i guess than like doing something with kardashians because honestly i would have no idea what to talk about for like 25 minutes like 23 minutes however long this voiceover is because i don't watch it and i not i nothing mm, i shouldn't say this but i have like no interest in watching keeping up with the kardashians honestly i know that some people like find them want to find them like entertaining for like trash tv and just like entertaining in general but like i just I don't know because like for me I'd rather watch something that I know is gonna have like an end game and some sort of like ending to the show that's like good and has some sort of not deeper meaning to it because obviously it's just freaking tv but you know what I mean right like that has some sort of storyline to it that like just can wrap you up in it that I feel like that reality tv shows just like don't have that sort of charm to it so I just feel like that's just me (laughs) My me and my sister are two different people. She's keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm more Game of Thrones <laughs> and like Gossip Girl because I heard they're doing a reboot of Gossip Girl. I don't know if any of you guys watch that, but yeah, I heard they're doing a reboot of that, but they're not using the original characters. And then I got really sad because that was another show I really loved too. <laughs> but enough about TV shows. Um, yeah, let's let's get back to the build. And as you can see here too, like we're wrapping up pretty quickly. And I hope you guys really, really, really like this because this definitely is inspired off of a few different images and a household that, of course, I was doing and. And I will try to be back soon too with um, another one of my with another build um, because I do have one last build for Strange Town to show you guys before I show you guys the overview video, which I'm super duper freaking excited about. <laughs> and it's I'm hoping to by then I will have my new mic set up. If not then well you will know why and i will probably be ranting about it in that video but hopefully it doesn't it doesn't come to that fingers crossed and if you happen to be new and you haven't joined the family yet um you should for first of all because we have fun here and i love all of my viewers and i encourage you guys all to go ahead and get out of your box and try and i try new things um and also too if you haven't checked out yorkie's channel please go ahead and do that if you haven't like go ahead and click at the end of the video the link should be there and in the description below as well and also too if you haven't um entered my island paradise giveaway yet in my previous video go ahead and do that i'm having a giveaway too and make sure you leave a comment and like down below and i will speak to you guys soon okay bye bye